Hi guys and welcome to today's video and I'm doing this dark talon look and if you are interested then please keep on watching. Uh, I start off this look by just painting uh, this like upper body uh, so I don't need to have the hat on so long because it's quite heavy and also that I can still sit because I will be bending a little bit my legs also. So I'm just gonna do this chest area first and I'm taking this Mehron's Paradise paints and this is the Cherry Red. Uh, it's from the Mehron X Gypsy Shrine palettes, uh, that red. And I will be packing on top there this red eyeshadow from the Eye Coral palette from Beauty Bay. And I will be painting the status on with the black mehron paint. And for the shadowing, I will be just using this Beauty Base 42 color brights palette. And there is the gray and black and those red shades. So I will be just blending like grays and then blending a little bit the darkest red there. Just to give these nice like shadows and kind of like uh, muscles like that they would pop out a little bit more that I wouldn't be like just this red. For the highlights I'm using the same brights palette and taking white one and the bright yellow and giving some highlights onto the chest and blending them together leaving some parts still just a bit like lighter than the other parts and I will be doing the same on the other side And on under the chin I will be just darkening or placing like shadow under my chin there. Now that everything is shadowed I uh, continue doing the tattoo parts. And I tried to look as goodly as the, like the preference photos, but there was quite many of like uh, there was some like figures and artwork. So I just uh, like on the stomach area and legs, I just like combined a couple of them. Uh, I just wanted to have one like as many of these that it would look complete. Uh, the look and then these arms uh, I'm not sure is this the right one there but just did something as I saw on the photo like uh, tried to try to look some references there uh, I didn't Usually I would like to highlight all these 
uh, black lines with the white uh, liner but uh, since I did like the whole body I didn't want to highlight those every part because it would take so much longer um, I did this look uh, like nine nine hours until like I was ready with the photos and all that so it took it a bit longer than usually and now to the stomach I did the same red paint and then putting this red eyeshadow I'm just putting the eyeshadow because I don't want to put the powder uh, I feel like the color leaves with the transparent powder or it fades so I'm don't wanna like put the powder and then the red eyeshadow and since I will not wear this and this is not the cream color it stays quite goodly on anyways and then I did the shadowing onto the stomach And these bras I have on, I made them with the foam and warpla on top. Uh, they were pressing under my boobs quite a lot. That was quite painful. <laughs> um, if I would wear this somewhere, I would probably just uh, figure out some other way that they would hold up than just they being so tight. There is like a rubber band, extremely tight. So I just put this over my head, so they would just hold this whole day on me. But if I would wear them out, I would probably put just a strap on my shoulder and just paint the straps also. And not as tight on the chest, so they would be a little bit more comfortable to wear. And yeah, then I, I did highlight the apps <laughs> and started doing the status on the stomach. Uh, it was quite hard to do this, didn't really see that well. I tried to look down, didn't see, so I did it like watching the mirror. And some parts I could just look down to make these. So the whole outfit I started doing in my summer holiday from work and I all the pieces are foam. I will explain it end of the video and show all the pieces. I didn't film it because I did this at my balcony so it's been really sunny there and I don't think I could have like film it so you would be able to see. Uh, that well because it's too bright um, and the headpiece I started filming it and it didn't work out I made it first with the craft foam like the headpiece and it quite didn't uh, work out it was quite like bulky like big looking and the seams were showing so on the headpiece I basically just did it with the like a thicker paper and then the things what are those tails kind of like are uh, just bed sheet fabric and then I did so by hand the red fabric on top and it was just a red dress from Sheen. So then to the eyebrows, I did glue them down, meanwhile I was doing the chest, just gluing them little by little. I will be packing on this cream color, this orange from Cryolan, and then I just uh, tap on the red eyeshadow on the eyebrows. And then I'm gonna tighten up my 
helmet or, or my head. And I did show how I glued it onto my head, but my camera died while filming, filming this five times. Uh, it complained that the battery was wrong there, even though it wasn't. Uh, I have this with the cable on, so I can film like all time, so I don't need to like load the batteries ever. Uh, but it's been doing that now like before, but now today it did it five times and it deleted like five videos what I was filming. So I don't have the part where I paint my face and how I glue it onto my head. And just the probably most important part or uh, to show how I did those. So I'm so sorry for not getting that on the video. Um, so I did put it on with the latex. Uh, you can see basically like that small line on my forehead. Uh, so that's the latex. These pointy like ear uh, armor things. Uh, they are just triangles. So I did just put their prosade and glued them on the places so they are not like attached to this helmet and the uh, like the band what is going is basically with the, those sticker things on this helmet attached and yeah just use it the same paint to paint my face and I did shadow my nose and the cupid's bow and then I'm gonna also do my cheeks. I am also adding the highlights with the same yellow and white eyeshadow. And I did shadow my other like under eye and I will be going to the toilet just to put the wing winged eyeliner on that. Uh, after I did glue my eyebrows, I just realized that these actually have the other eyebrow on. So basically I would not need to cover the eyebrow. Um, but now that I did, I made this a bit thinner and a higher up eyebrow, what I actually would have. Then I do the tattoo parts. And the tattoos kind of like cover nicely the edge what is on the helmet. And also like if you if you are gonna paint the helmet part, I actually suggest just placing the prosade or putting the prosade on top of the liquid latex, since uh, in my um, what I have done, I feel like the eyeshadow stick on better on the prosade surface than on the liquid latex. So yeah, but I'm just gonna do the face tattoos. Uh, with the face tattoos I didn't really have a good picture how they looked, so I just did something my own and the other side looks quite like uh, black, so it's probably like wrong, but uh, it did turn out looking quite decent.
and for my eyelid and under my eye I am placing this NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil black one and I will be placing this one and then packing it with the black eyeshadow on top so it doesn't it's quite greasy the uh, eye pencil so just putting on top the uh, black eyeshadow adding highlighter in the face and a little bit on the chest area I love this eye coral palette uh, highlighters and I am just using this I think it's like gold or this like light gold shade the purple one is just amazing also Then I will be adding lashes on, and these are Fairy Dolly on Eldora lashes. And they kindly send these to me, and I have also code for it if you are interested. I will be linking it uh, on the bottom bar on description, and you can get 20% off on your order. I also did went to put these contact lenses on to the toilet and I bought these on Amazon. I did buy them for my Savage Opress look, what I did on the Star Wars day. And they are color red, color red contact uh, dart mouth. And I can link the Amazon uh, where I got them. Then these legs, just doing same things on them, painting and uh, adding some red eyeshadow. I did not shadow or highlight any of the legs, <laughs> many legs, <laughs> because that would have been just too much work and it was so little showing that I wasn't bothered on doing that. And then I will go slap on the full outfit and then this look is done and at the end of everything <laughs> after this I have clip where I show the pieces like cloth pieces and explain a bit how I made them but now I will just say bye bye and thank you for watching and hope we see you on the next one and Wait till the end. So in this table is the armor and on the floor, but basically this is the brass and this is made with the foam and the warpla on top and this is what it looks inside so you can see the foam layer and the warpla layer just on top. I just wanted them to be like hard so they would hold on like the other armor pieces are just the foam so they are like they are just like flexible but these these aren't that much I did put there this rubber band and I only just hot glued it um, first I was gonna put it with this clippers like two of them uh, but these were actually quite bad so I didn't go buy new ones they are like really loose so when I breathe it they just like pop out so I only put this rubber band and it was actually really tight 
so um, it was quite hard to be on that all day but yeah that was just hot glued and yeah so this is the bra uh, if I would wear it a day I would change like the system how you would put it on maybe I would uh, place some straps here uh, just to make them more comfortable and I made it as tight as I could so it would actually hold on without the straps so I would probably just put the straps and paint them red also and do all the tattoo things uh, on top of them then uh, then we have all these armor pieces these were on the legs those and these ones and then we had the hand ones and I just quickly made these kind of like straps what opens not really that goodly made uh, but the front side is more <laughs> important so I just cut it kind of like square these are going a bit like uh, wider and these pieces on the top and these ones on the hands and then I just made these on top like uh, some decoration things and made some battle scars and I did uh, prime it and spray paint it with this silver from uh, cosplay shop it's just the metal metal colors I can link it down below what I use use it to paint this uh, I think this piece was the worst but the, my paint was ending so it came like splotchy <laughs> but the other ones looks quite great and I did want to make them kind of like this gun metal colored so I did place like black black base prime color and then I just silver painted them so I would get this kind of like silver like gun metal what what is called more than just uh, bright silver and these are just hand painted with the silver then for the extremely awesome pants I just got it a piece they are now red uh, hand to the bottom and the top since I don't have a machine that could make actually like I have only that one which makes like only straight and it doesn't stretch any I don't have home machine what would make the uh, stretchy kind of like stitching so I hand stitched it and yeah they are just pair of shorts and the leather is actually extremely shit so I'm just gonna throw these away <laughs> um, then these stupid looking gloves basically I just made them like just getting my hand on there and just cutting and sewing uh, if you would want to make them good you would put like the side piece here on all the fingers so they wouldn't be like these sausages stupid looking but I made them actually just quickly on the angelic skirt <laughs> just destroyed that one and yeah there's just super long ones and on the others I actually cut that my thumb out so I could actually take pictures with it <laughs> And then the skirt is basically uh, the foam and in here is actually the warpla also and these are just foam and on the back I didn't even bother to make the uh, button things <laughs> so yeah it's it opens here and I can put it on. Wow! So I just hot glued there some pieces of black fabric. I 
was first thinking of making them with leather but uh, I didn't actually want it because it shines quite much probably on the pictures so I just made it with this uh, scuba material so basically when I cut it it doesn't like what it's called well get destroyed <laughs> so you wanna use maybe something that just when you cut it it's it's not gonna um, yeah, so you don't need to sew the sides and or anything, so uh, it was this or the leather and this was actually just fine. So this hat is basically just uh, like this, a bit thicker paper. Um, I made it first with the craft foam, like the extremely thin, these are basically craft foam in here um, but it got quite thick this uh, front line so I would have need to like then somehow cover it to match with my head and so I just thought I'm gonna make the base just with this paper it's just taped really ugly looking and then these horns um, so how I got the head shape is I just put wrap my head with the, the plastic wrapping thing and then put painter's tape and just cut it out of my head. So I got the exact head size and I on also did like the ears so my ears would go in here and then these horns I basically made pattern with the foil so I just made the foil uh, this shaped like on my head and I checked out like what how it would be good and then I made the plastic wrapping with that one and made pattern also with this and this is like a piece that ends like here like this and then I just glued it on there and I bought this red fabric it's basically a dress from Sheen I basically wrote latex dress and I got this not latex fabric but good enough <laughs> so it was just enough um, under here is uh, like a um, bed sheet fabric which I stuffed with the, the stuffing um, material from the pillows <laughs> and then I hot glued it into the one like in this one so basically I would have these already and then I wrapped it with this red uh, fabric and then just sew it so basically the back or the front there was not enough fabric so I needed to like do some replacements <coughs> and on the back it looks like this so uh, these parts were trickiest ones since I only had like a dress so if you would have more fabric you could just probably do all these just with the like fabric pieces but I didn't have that much so I only uh, got the front side from other one and uh, the back side on the other one and they are just wrinkled like this sewn by hand these are just hot glued some over like leftover pieces after uh, there and the that is just like it doesn't look that great on the back but it would um I didn't make any like tattooing things here so I think it would actually just work if you would just put some uh, of them on the back side also and basically just cover like on here is stitching but it doesn't really that much so and also I made on top of the like wrinkles also these 
parts, so it actually looks quite decent. Uh, and this headband was actually one straight piece, it got a hole in it. <laughs> so I got it a piece and turned it around. <laughs> I got the whole piece away. And they are just with these uh, sticking things, uh, sticking like these ones. Uh, they are the they are like glued glued ones, so they are not holding really well. But they are just they are just there. So uh, I didn't really that much put work into that. So basically the fabric is a bit over that paper and it goes over my ears and I did just glue it onto my head with the liquid latex as you saw and then I did leave kind of like these wraps so I could just paste this one and the other one and just tighten them onto my head as tight as I can. So they came there, I've tightened it. Uh, then you can basically just fold them and put them inside of the cap if you want. Yeah, that's the headpiece. Uh, then I made these circle things, they do leave away. I also had the necklace that is also like this. And these ear pieces are like these ones. And I just only glued them like on top of here. Yep, they are sticking because they are so sticky. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they are just... That's it.